today we're going to have a look at the New South Wales Sustainability Infrastructure Amendment to the New South Wales Strata Schemes Management Act. First, we've got this great statistic. In Australia, 84% of people are in favour of getting their energy from solar power. Today, in Australia, 22% of residential houses already have solar panels installed on their rooftops. But when it comes to our apartment buildings, only 0.6% of our strata titled apartment buildings have solar photovoltaic panels. The New South Wales Parliament passed a sustainability infrastructure amendment to the New South Wales Strata Schemes Management Act in February 2021. It only requires an ordinary resolution for an apartment block to proceed with solar or a number of other sustainability projects. It can be solar panels, batteries, electric vehicle charging stations, energy efficiency, water efficiency, anything that reduces pollution, uh, anything that reduces waste or in, improves recycling. And it also applies to taking out finance, such as an energy lease or a strata loan or a power purchase agreement for any of these sustainability projects. The mechanics of actually passing one of these uh, ordinary resolutions. So keep in mind, uh, it's based on unit entitlements. So uh, the unit entitlements for each apartment in a building might be different based upon the square meters. So a three bedroom might have more unit entitlements than a two bedroom or a studio apartment. Another thing to keep in mind is only people that are paid up on their strata levies are entitled to vote. And a key point is that the way this legislation is framed, it's not actually about getting more than 50% to vote for a sustainability project. It's just not having more than 50% of owners based on unit entitlement vote against the sustainability motion. So what that means is if people abstain for voting or don't turn up to a meeting, that's not a no vote. It's only counted from the people that actually cast a vote, either yes or no, in the meeting. We're going to have a look at a case study of how this sustainability infrastructure amendment played out in a vote of a strata complex consisting of five buildings and 100 units that voted on a 75 kilowatt common area solar system. And to give you an idea, uh, they had 50 people attend an EGM that was held electronically. And of those 50, 45 of those uh, voted either yes or no, and five abstained from voting on the solar motion. And 52% of the unit entitlements voted against the solar motion. So it wasn't passed, but the solar champion realized that this was very, very close. And the key reasons were more education needed to be done around aesthetics and reflectivity of the solar panels. And the idea is now to uh, do some more education and then take it back to another EGM uh, for voting again and see whether the solar motion will pass. So good luck to that strata scheme on their renewable energy journey. Mm -hmm.